This is a still taken from Gabriel Gifford's latest appearance. It's supposedly shot in chambers uh, of the House of Representatives, and you'll notice that the lighting is not consistent with the rest of the images that were shown. But we can see that this is the back of her head, and you can come into this frame and push the levels on it and see that there's no wound in the back of this head. This is a calic. Now I'm also going to show you that this video has been edited post-production. It's been altered and what I mean by altered is per frame somebody has gone in and touched up the image and we can see this when uh, a layer accidentally overlaps another layer and I'll show you um, the gentleman behind here his layer his face actually accidentally overlaps hers the following clip you can verify I'm repeating these frames over and over so you can see that his chin overlaps her head you can verify for yourself this shows that this video is fraudulent it's been edited in post-production in this photograph we see plenty of familiar faces but one that is a new one and that is the person third from the right we notice she looks a lot like Gabrielle Giffords um, I would believe that this would be the person that they used as the person that they're calling Gabrielle uh, she has the same facial features we'll zoom in here in a second and you can see um, she matches Gabrielle Giffords or the person that we're told is Gabrielle by her size, uh, her frame, uh, she's very similar. Now for those of you that are uh, reality challenged, I'll show you what real head wounds look like. The following images are, are pretty graphic, so if you have a weak stomach, uh, I suggest you turn it off right now. We can see this person here has had brain surgery. You notice the scarring would leave the hair growth pattern severely damaged um, so it would definitely not look like what we are seeing in the video of her today this again is from a surgeon's knife not from a through wound from a bullet which would be much more severe some of the work I've done in the past on the JFK assassination was high treason and the killing of a president those two books um, were done were written by Robert Roden uh, this is a medical sculpture that I did for the killing of a president it shows the wounds that according to the doctors and eyewitnesses that day um, what they saw and this would be more realistic of what you would get with a through wound now this wouldn't have been a hollow tip bullet again I'm not going to get into Kennedy assassination stuff in here I just want you to realize that the damage from a through wound from a hollow tip round um, would be extremely severe and you would see massive amounts of damage if the person survived uh, let alone the surgery and to replace the skull flap that she had to have done would have left massive scarring to the hair to the tissue which would cause that hair to not grow back in a nice neat pattern that you see in the video so that's for all of you that are reality challenged